Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're statics and we're gonna do problem 4.23, okay? So basically, we have this crane that it has a load, it has a weight at G1, it has a weight at G2, and also a weight at G3. And they're giving us how much it's the mass of each one of these, so the mass for the load, the mass at point G1, and the, pipe, the mass of G2 and G3. Uh, so in order to solve this, so basically what they're asking us is what are the moments about point A and what are the moments about point B, okay? So this is what the question is, okay? So in order to do this, let's draw a free body diagram here on the right. So we got VD and let's do, let's do it under the line AB. So we have both of them. Okay, so basically if we go like this, we have our line AB like this. Then we have our crane that it looks like a little bit like a T. And then what do we have? So I have a load over here that is pulling me down in here. We have the weight of the right side of the crane that is going down like that. We have the load of G3 going like this. So we got G3 in this case. We got G2 in here. We have G1 in here and we got the load. Okay, and our point B is exactly over here. So that's my point B and over here is my point A. Okay, so basically by intuition, we should know that moment about point A and the moment about point B is going to be the same. Why? Because the difference between point A and point B is in the Y direction and we don't have any x direction loads or forces and therefore these two guys are going to be the same okay so let's calculate first uh, we got the these loads in grams so I want to make them in kilograms so that way when I multiply by my gravity it, they become uh, newtons so basically, if we add 2 megagrams, it's equal to 2,000 kilograms. If I have 1.5 megagrams, it's 1,500 kilograms. This guy is going to be 500 kilograms. And if I have 6 megagrams, basically I have 6,000 kilograms, okay? Now, since we know this, we can find what... I'm going to make the load in newtons, the force of my load is going to be its mass, which is 2,000 kilograms. So 2,000 kilograms multiplied by 9.81, it's equal to 19.6 newtons, kilonewtons. So we get 19.6 kilonewtons. What about the force of G1? So basically we do the same. We do 1,500 kilograms multiplied by 9.81. So 1,500 multiplied by 9.81. And it gives me 14.7 kilonewtons. So we get 14.7 kilonewtons. Force G2. We know that we're also going to do force G3. Okay. So for 4G2, we got 500 multiplied by 9.81. So we get 500 multiplied by 9.81. And it gives me 4.9 kilonewtons. So this guy is 4.9 kilonewtons. And last, we got our 6,000 6, kilograms. So we got 6,000 kilograms multiplied by 9.81. Gives me 58.9. So we get 58.9 kilonewtons. Okay. Now, if we want to do the moment, we know that moment is force times distance. So let's see moment about point A. 
so it's force times time distance. We got the force of the load. So we need to imagine we're holding this crane at this point A, like this. Like if we were holding it with our hand. The load is going down. So this will make my system rotate in this direction. So it will be clockwise, okay? And if moment about clockwise, in this problem, we're going to do it negative. So we got negative, the distance between A and the load, which is given by 12.5 meters. So we got 12.5 meters multiplied by our force, which is 19.6 kilonewtons. Okay, so that's our first moment. We also have a negative moment that is going to do G, G1. And what is the distance? So the distance between A and G1 is 9.5 meters. So we got 9.5 meters multiplied by our force G1, which is 14.7 kilonewtons. Then we're gonna do plus because, why plus? Because if I'm holding point A, this G2 will make my system rotate like this. So it will be counterclockwise and it will be a positive. Okay, so what is the distance from my point A to my point G2? It's only four meters given. So we got four meters multiplied by how much is the force G2, which is actually 4.9 kilonewtons plus, so Again, G2, G3, it's going to make my system rotate counterclockwise, so it's positive. And we're going to do the distance, which is 7.5 meters. So we got 7.5 multiplied by its force, which we calculated at 58.9. Okay, and if we do this, so the moment about point A should be equal to so let's see what we get so we get 12.5 negative so negative 12.5 multiplied by 19.6 then we do minus 9.5 multiplied by my 14.7 then we're going to do plus then we got 4 multiplied by my 4.9 and then we're going to do plus my 7.5 multiplied by 58.9 and this is equal to 76.0 if we round it up kilonewtons per meter okay so that's my answer for my moments around point A. My, mo my moment around A is equal to my moment around B because all the forces are in the y direction and the difference between point A and point B is only in the y direction. So every single time I'm going to do the same, I'm going to do a point B, it's the same distance same distance for load, same distance for G2, and same distance for G3, which are the ones that we use. We never use this 23 meter difference between point A and point B. So basically, moment around A, it's the same as moment around B. And if it's this one is positive, in our case, it's a counterclockwise moment. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.